Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time you have came to my channel, welcome. Make sure you give um, myself a subscribe and can everyone else like this. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Primark slash Pennies, if you're from Ireland it's Pennies, Primark, uh, my perfect colour velvet finish foundation. So if you want to learn about this foundation and see what my first impressions was and my overall review, then keep watching this video and you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. It is all Naomi Guanac gave me way. So keep watching. Right, before I um, start talking a little bit about the foundation, I'm just going to prep my skin. I'm going to go in with the MAC Fix Plus all around this period to glow myself up because I'm quite dry here. And then I'm going to go in with the Ingla under makeup base in my T-zone, just control the idiot oils. Right, I want to first of all say, I'm really bad at reading, so if I make a mistake, um, I'm sorry. Right, so this is the bottle here. It's kind of a cute bottle, it's a, um, a dropper foundation, so I think it'd be really good. So it probably means that there's like a slight bit of like a powder uh, put into it, so it's a little bit more on the matte side. Because usually when um, a foundation has a pump on it, it means that it's a little bit more liquidy. And when it doesn't have a pump on it, usually it means um, that there's like a powder in it that makes it stay on a little bit longer and like make a little bit more full coverage. One thing I did notice on it is um, there's no ingredients, which doesn't really help because you don't know what the hell you're putting on your face. So if you do break out quite easily or you do get reactions, maybe test it on the side of your face for the day and then if you do find a reaction, then maybe don't use it. But that's one thing that I did notice about it. It has like stuff on the back that's in like different um a different language, so I don't really know. It's made in Ireland though. Well it says that it's made in Ireland anyway, so we'll just see. It is a 30 ml bottle which should last you a good bit, and it's the num the number, the colour toffee, and it was only six euro. What it says is my perfect colour. Velvet finish foundation, medium full, customizable coverage, second skin effect. So an SPF 30 as well in it, which is quite good. Just be aware for when you're going out on a night out, but I say it should be okay, because especially so, it's such a tan color. Um, one bad thing as well is that there wasn't really a big color selection. Uh, this would be like their darkest one, but the other ones were like cool tones they were very like pink and i wasn't really a big fan there was only two other colors well i think there was only two other colors they only really look like two different ones and uh, they were very pinky undertones and so i like to be tan so this will be a bit dark for me but i'm just going to lighten it up with a lot of concealer right i'm going to test a bit of it on the back of my hand so you can see it's like a little pump and then you just drop oh you can tell by it, um, it didn't completely fall straight down, so it means it's not extremely liquidy, so it should have a good amount of coverage. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's very full coverage. You can feel like it's not um, slippy and slidey. It has like a matte finish to it. It is very velvety, like it says on the, um, the tub. So yeah, it will be a little bit dark for you, but I like to be dark anyway. But yeah, no, first impressions, yeah, it seems like it'll be good. Hmm. I say this will be a lovely colour for a night out foundation. It doesn't have a smell off it. It just smells like normal. It smells a little bit like paint. It just kind of smells like foundation. It doesn't have like a bad smell or a good smell. My primers have to set in because I let it set there for a few minutes. And then I'm going to pop into the foundation. So I'm not too sure how much I should put on my skin, but I like full cover, so we'll see. So I'm just going to do a little drop. And then a drop here. Well, it wasn't really a drop, but... And then I'm going to go in my beat blender, like I usually do. And then pop that in. Oh, okay. It's full coverage. Yeah, it is definitely full coverage. I'm actually really happy with this coverage i can't like it's six euro and like i like using a beauty blender because i do feel like it pushes the foundation into the skin a little bit better 
um, then using a brush because I feel like brushes like kind of swipes the foundation around. This one really pushes it in. I'm really happy with that. Right, this is all the foundation applied. I don't apply any foundation underneath the eyes just because um, it's too thick for underneath the eyes. But straight off the bat, it is a very full coverage foundation. Um, it's like a demi matte finish. Like it still has like a slight little glow to it, but it is mattifying. So that should that should presume that it should last quite a while. Um, for I say it would suit all skin types. Just prep your skin. Like if you're more dry, just make sure you put on a nice moisturizing primer. Or if you are oily, just put on your usual um, what's the word? Uh, mattifying primer. But I am so pleased, like the coverage, I cannot, the coverage is the main thing that I can't get over. Because you know that I usually, I don't have a smell either. And usually, you know, when you buy a cheap foundation, it never really has that coverage. So, you know. Right, I'm going to do my concealer and stuff off camera because my camera's on 1% and I really hope it doesn't die. So I just went in with my concealer. All the products will be listed below. And it didn't... Um, sometimes if some foundations they don't really mix the concealer in quite well but it blended all quite seamlessly and I do find that it was because of the beauty blender just try this this is just a real technique one it's only like seven euro or something but I am a big big fan of beauty blenders when you try a beauty blender you won't look back I swear to god and then now all I'm gonna do is just um, set all my other face again camera's going dead I'm an idiot I should have charged it I'm sorry to quickly say as well when um, I was putting the powder on it wasn't grabbing the foundation so it wasn't making it look cakey which I'm really happy about because usually when you have like a wet foundation it clings the powder together and it makes it look really really cakey but since this is kind of like a velvet finish it just kind of puts the powder on and it makes it still look a slightly glowy as well we're gonna add more glow though so this is the real test and um, when you put bronzer on will it go um cakey or not so the bronze i'm going to go in with is um ingla 507 no nope, perfect nothing bad to say about that goes on actually quite smooth i did set my um i did set my cheek stuff with um a, an overall press powder so that could help i'm not too sure what it will be like with a, a powder on now but i say it will be okay the fact that it is a velvet finish so if you are a little bit more on the dry side then it should be okay right that is the whole um foundation completely done with all my highlighter and lipstick on what else um overall i really really like this foundation i would actually recommend it to people um there's nothing like really bad that i could say about it um it doesn't sit into my fine lines um, it's full coverage obviously like if you're not into full coverage then you're not gonna really like this look um, the powder set well on it it's a nice velvet finish it doesn't feel heavy I don't really feel like I have a lot of makeup on and I do have a lot of makeup on and it doesn't feel like it the only downside I have to say of it is obviously the color range in it like this is probably the nice tan colour, like if you want to go on my Instagram and actually see like a proper photo taken of me because sometimes the light looks a bit different but um, it's 6 euro I would, yeah, recommend it go get it so I'm going to put it to the real test, I'm going to go to work now and then I'm going to check back images and see exactly what I think of it uh, see if it bulges, see if it oxidizes, that's the one thing I want to see oxidize just pretty much means that if it will change colour when like oils and stuff starts like mixing with it but let's just see if that actually happens but yeah I'll check back images I'm just about to leave my house and I completely forgot to say that um, Primark, ooh, Primark has these uh, colour perfecting colours that lightens up your foundation completely forgot about that so you know if you bought that foundation and you want to use it for a night out buy this this is only five euro um it's really really good for just making the foundation go a lot lighter so get the foundation and if you do find it's too dark for yourself then just pop a few drops of this again it has a little droplet thing as well pennies is growing it's doing good but yeah gotta go to work now and i'll check back in which is later on the whole foundation Right, just checking back in on the skin. Um, 
I'm a bit sweaty, but it's actually not really coming up on camera. Let me try to zoom. I'd probably recommend, like the hold up on it is quite good. It's been on me for, I think, it's been on me for, I think about seven hours now. I've F food, obviously all this, but it's holding up quite well. And then we zoom. And it just, I think I might use more of like a, a mattifying primer a little bit like a heavier matte primer around the forehead but yeah it's a good it's a good one i would yeah it's brilliant just just get a six year old if not a big fan doesn't really matter just give it to somebody else right so that is my review my overall review is yeah thumbs up from me sorry about that day of makeup um don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for weekly videos and if you have any other ideas of what you want to see from me to do comment in the comment section below and i will see you in my next